was buying four issues of a Namor comic a little bit overkill. Definitely. Major Tommy tells me I should read some Namor. It'd be pretty good or whatever. Four issues might be too much. Normally the deal is if I do a request comic, you gotta share it if I'm funny or whatever. Major Tommy, you said you've shared the other ones. Don't share this one. Because honestly, if I was like one of your friends on Facebook or something, and you're constantly sharing some random bitch's video, I'd be like, okay, what the fuck? What's going on here? Stop this. Anybody else, feel free to share it. And you know, I'm going to say what, when I do remember to say to share my video, because I find that shit annoying, is, you know what, sometimes my thumbnails are on point, sometimes the titles are, but do me a favor, if you share it, just put a quote of something dumb I said in this. So, you know what, enough of the business Let's get into this shit from 1992. Oh, oh, I love this business casual, but look at this Iron Fist. Oh my god, look at this color game. This shit is giving Spawn a run for his money. Also, don't think I don't see that little mullet hiding back there. That's fucking crazy. This this is like, what is that, like eight feet of collar? <laughs> I'm a little bit bad at, you know spatial awareness but that I gotta tell you that looks like I now I'm looking at it now I think it might be 20 feet and then look at Namor here with his weak chin and he's just trying to show me his gauntlet no 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 a gauntlet 18,000 feet of collar I mean which is more impressive honestly this Fist of Fury okay whatever so let's get into this and like oh holy shit Iron Fist is coming out fucking swinging with the leg kicks and I gotta tell you Iron Fist I'm coming around, I'm thinking he's a little bit less lame. The thing that's been holding me back is the slippers, and let's just, that is a goddamn woman's shoe. There's no getting around it. That's a woman's shoe. This, that looks straight up looks like some Peter Pan sleeping sock situation here, but this, that is straight up a woman's heel that he's converted into a flat. So, <laughs> Iron Fist has apparently been dead. Now he's not. So let's just get into this. His anger and bravado aren't just for show. Oh, well, that's good. I like a man who doesn't just threaten people, but also causes physical harm. He may be the most defiant man on the planet. What? That's a weird, that's weird language. you never seen somebody even like, how defiant is that guy? Oh man, you don't want to know how defiant he is. Yeah, how defiant? Once? Oh, this is good. This will be good. You, now you know it's true when someone starts it off with once. Death himself touched Daniel to drag him to his dark domain. Daniel refused to go. Oh my god, Daniel, you refuse to die? That's defiant as fuck, dog. I gotta tell you, that sounds like a really bad Chuck Norris joke. Like, how defiant is Chuck Norris? Death tried to drag him to hell and Chuck Norris was like, no. God, you remember a world where Chuck Norris jokes didn't exist? That was like, that was such a peaceful time. God, I miss those days. And we didn't even realize that those days were going to rapidly come to an end. So we cut to Iron Fist. He's, uh, he's got a bow staff. He's looking pretty mean with his, I mean, just like five miles of straight collar on this man. He's training a little bit. He's in... Atlantis, he's using a training facility here. He's, because, you know, when you, you lose a little bit of your, mo like, speed and stamina endurance when you die, and then you get brought back to life. We see Colleen Wing and Misty Knight. They're in the training room of Atlantis, and we see that apparently a woman named Namorita has authorized them to be used in the training room, which I gotta tell you, Namorita, first of all, it sounds like a really bad drink. Can I get a Namorita, place? Like, 15 Namoritas for $3. Do, 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 do. Well, um, fucking Motley Crue is gonna be playing on the main stage. Um, Namorita is an awful name. And you know what, I feel like that's the thing that happens in Atlantis all the time. There's probably, like, tons of children with some faux version of Namor's name. Like, my name would be, like, Namorinzi. Or, like, there'd be a... Namorabi and J Namor Edward. I kind of lost the plot on that one. Namor Ch Namoruck. That's Chuck. But I'm just comment down below a terrible Namor version of a name. <laughs> so they're letting him stay down there because whatever. And um, 
Okay, yeah, yeah. We see Iron Fist, he's just, he looks like he's fucking ready to go. I mean, that fist is just flamed up. He's barely broken a sweat. He wants to keep going. And Misty Knight, somebody's just colored the back of her shirt, her crop top with a Sharpie. I guess that's how it, Atlanteans prank each other. But apparently, Colleen is also hoping we get some time alone. Shout out to Colleen. Colleen, that's... That's a name that if you have an accent, it'll definitely come through. I'm shout out to Colleen for, you know, giving Missy and Danny time to fuck. So I gotta say, look, I'm not a dude. I know that may come to a surprise to a lot of people, but I have to imagine the post coming back from the dead nut is either incredibly powerful, got a lot of fecundity, you know, you're gonna get that's like at least a fucking quintuplet situation, incredibly fertile. Or it's just straight up black slime comes out of your dick. I'm just saying, that post coming back from the dead nut, probably the most powerful nut of all time. I'm just saying. That's that's the kind of that's the kind of grade A commentary you get when you sub to my channel. So we um we finally there's some more of this stuff. Nobody cares. We finally get to see Namor, sort of. So we're, we're at this place, it's a full moon. F what? Full moon. I think I just had a stroke. We see, Na this is Namorita here. She doesn't even look like Namor at all. But she kind of does look like, you know, some sort of like Florida trash named Namorita. Shout out to Florida trash. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep an Atlantean down. And apparently Namor did this. All this would hurt a lot more. If I thought Namor was in his right mind when he attacked me. So Namor, he's brainwashed a little bit. Can he be a little bit brainwashed? Is it just... I mean, I guess if your short-term memory is fucked, but your long-term is good, you're still kind of there. I'm so glad he's still alive and well. If he'd slam his own cousin that way... That's a poor choice of words. I mean... Slam. Slam is... I guarantee you in 1992 when this came out, Slam was definitely a euphemism. For fucking, so Namor apparently is fucking his cousin, and she's like, he fucked her, and then he threw a bunch of trees on her, which I guess is his finishing move, which is, I gotta tell you, that's, I, it's weird for an Atlantean for that to be his finishing move. I wonder if he threw them counter, or just clockwise. <laughs> we see how badly Master Khan has screwed up his head, and then we see Master Khan, which, this guy's anatomy, I don't understand this guy's anatomy whatsoever. Look, first of all, he's thick as a goddamn bookshelf. He's got the head of like a bass guitar. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if it'll put. Yeah, you can see like four little. Look like tuning keys on a bass guitar. He's got like vulture wings, spindly arms, like as thick as a bookshelf. He's he's on some sort of elevated thing. He looks like just a really awful statue. And then we see what he looks like. He straight. He kind of looks like Namor, but he also kind of looks like. Morbius and Sinister. He looks like a lot of guys combined. And he says, If you had slightly more wit than the halibut you resemble, do me a favor. Next time you get into an argument, first of all, make sure they know what a halibut is. Because if you call a dummy a halibut, first of all, if you call a dummy any kind of name that they don't recognize or fully understand, that's going to piss them off even more. So, you know what, maybe do that. But definitely get into an argument with somebody, just call him a halibut, because that's going to throw him off. Straight up. Because we're very filthy in our name calling these days. We're personal attacks. Just say somebody looks like a halibut, that's going to either make their brain short circuit and you win, or at least give, at least make them stop for a second and gives you enough time to just uppercut the shit out of them. So apparently he's brainwashed Namor, that if anybody brings up anything that might trigger his memory, he must flee by any means necessary, even if that means murdering people. And he straight up just flees. He just starts running, and he runs into this one. Apparently Namor's been brainwashed, and he's going by Rex. Which, Rex is definitely a name for your pet T-Rex or a dog. People aren't named that, and they shouldn't be. And it makes me think there's probably some kid out there named Rex who will have to be become some sort of sideshow performer. And apparently this woman has been helping him out. But let's look at this hair. Good fucking God. Namor, he should be on the fucking front of a hair dye box. That's how you know you got good hair. 
Also, I feel bad for those women. And men, because it's like, I assume they want to be a model of some sort, and it's like, hey, you got good hair. Everything else is kind of not up to par with the hair. So let's just put you on a, just put you on a box with like a thousand other motherfuckers to just put you on a box. I'm, but I'm sure that's somebody's dream. To be on a fucking cover of a hair dye. I mean, it's low. Entirely achievable. Now let's look at this woman's hair whose name's Tess. She looks like she just put a fucking bush on her head and she got two hair extensions. You're lucky to be in the presence of this man. And apparently these two have hooked up a little... Well, hooked... I mean, can you hook up a little... They, it gets a little steamy. And you find out what the fuck's going down here. They're on some island, but we got some loggers coming. And they want to just kill this guy because their hair is not as good as his hair. And we see that, you know, they think that he spiked the trees, which isn't that... I can't... I, all I know is, like, you do something and you cut down the tree and you get injured somehow. If you know what the fuck spiking the trees concretely means, let me know, because I need... You know, I need to talk about guerrilla warfare with people, and I don't want to sound like I'm fucking uninformed. You know, that that's just the worst. And we look at this guy who... Look at this... Whoa, what the fuck? This guy... Trying to hide back here with this fucking eraser-shaped head back here. This guy, he looks like... His skull is trying to escape his head. That is just stretching out his face. And you know what? I, it's like, I can't tell if he's good-looking or ugly. Like, sometimes you see a model and you look at him and you're like, Oh, they're attractive. But then you see... See them with, like, a harder, harsher light on them. And then you're like, Oh, they're kind of ugly, but they have good hair. And they're wearing good clothing. So it's very confusing. But they want to kill him, and she's like, no, look, he's super strong, he can help take up the loggers. So this is some 90s steez, some hardcore 90s steez, and we're talking about loggers, and the word tree hugger is used. We see this guy, who I believe is the master con guy, but he's put a lot of foundation on. Uh, Tess calls this guy, so she's a sus. no wait, who calls him? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Tess calls this guy, so she's possibly manipulating him a little. I mean, I keep saying a little bit, but I feel like you're either manipulated or you're not. And we, so he's like, awesome, we're going to get these fucking tree huggers. And then we see Namorita. This is so fucking funny to me. Okay, so he's talking on the phone. She just sticks her leg in because she knows how unsettling it is to see wings on an ankle. I mean, just imagine... Just imagine you've walked into a room, a hotel room, like a room that has like very long from the ceiling to the floor curtains. And you look around, but then you notice, oh shit, there's a leg sticking out and it's got wings on it. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking die. It's just so funny how the most threatening part of her is her leg and she's like, yeah. And she knows it. She's a powerful woman. <laughs> so... She tells him, like, hey, I found Namor. Um, I know where he is. We need to go get him. And he's like, oh, fuck. But then he's like, oh, no, it'll be fine. We'll, I'll scheme. This guy's a schemer. I mean, look at that cell phone. It's so thin. The thinner the phone, the more of a schemer he is. So, um, Namor, he hooks up with, yeah, yeah. He, the loggers, or not the loggers. These are the anti-loggers. The D-loggers. No, Tree planters? Degalogging just sounds like double logging. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. But I'm just saying he hooks up with them because you can't. This guy's literally strong as fuck. And you can't. You guys are tree huggers. I mean, I've eaten tofu from time to time. but I, I And it's pure protein. But let's be honest. This guy, he's eating. He's just biting the head off a snake and just eating it. So they're going to go take out, take care of this logging company. They head to it. And, um, we see that the loggers, they don't want to lose their fucking jobs. They're trying to take their jobs. They've got helmets on, so maybe they're a step above, you know, beanies. And while Namor is fighting them off, I'm sorry, Rex, as he is now known, somebody is in a logging machine, which I feel like there's probably a more technical term for it. Wearing a ski mask, going to just murder everybody, which, yeah, if everybody's murdered... Then there are no people to stop the logging, but then there are also no people to do the logging. So, just murder everyone 
in the vicinity and the problem will take care of itself. So Neymar, he's like, holy shit, we didn't say we we're going to kill anybody, but let's be honest. This, he, we brought a fucking axe. You brought an axe, don't give me that shit about the sanctity of human life. So he, he climbs into the logging machine and it's like, oh no, it was Tess. And she's not going to explain, but they hit this fuel bin and then, and then it explodes and we don't know what happens. You know what's the weirdest thing about this comic? Number one, Iron Fist is barely in it. But the weirdest thing about this is, Namor is fully clothed throughout the entire thing. It's fucking weird. I need this man in some scale panties.